right guys we're gonna install the last plug let's see the last plug and then we'll take the metal plug just a little allen plug i think it's 3 8 mpt not going to work. Standard Allen. 5 sixteenths. Not metric. Use Permatex. High gasket. I don't know. I've never used this stuff before, so hopefully it works. Okay. Q-tips, toilet paper. Put in this when you're done. Make sure the lid's on there. I spilt one of these on the floor before. It made a huge fucking mess. Always clean off the extra, Ooh, the details. I'm gonna throw this way and I'll walk around that and take. All right, I will walk you around the intake manifold. All right, guys, it's the intake manifold. It's a Canon 20R intake manifold for a Weber carb. We have the Weber 38 with electric choke. We took out the studs and put ARP bolts on the carburetor. We replaced the filter with the ITG filter. We put ARP bolts in the water neck because 
these bolts I got from LC Engineering did not fit this junky O'Reilly's water neck. That's okay. An OEM sensor. And 11 pound spring for throttle return. And this carbon fiber bracket I made for the spring mount. It's pretty nice little bracket, I guess. Threw an ARP bolt on there. And then in the front, where this bolt is right here, we're going to set the fuel system, filter, regulator, gauge. It should all go right there and then back into the return. Got a couple engine lift mounts. These are like, I think these are for a Chevy, a V8. I think it was a Camaro or something, but we got them anyways. And then for a vacuum line, we started making a vacuum line for this thing. Let's see. So we don't have to run a bunch of line all over the place. I don't know if I'm even gonna be able to get it to line up right, right now. I don't think I have enough room. This huge toolbox and not enough room. Let's see. So with it mounted right there. Alright, with that mounted right there, we should run a very small amount of vacuum line. And the rest of this will it'll get bent to fit around the engine when I get to there. But for now, that's kind of what we're gonna do. We're gonna, instead of running a hose, we're gonna use a stainless steel line and a very small piece of silicone. And then to run our heater, this goes in the center of the head. I'm gonna have that welded on there. And it should sit, it should sit right behind the intake manifold for the heater hose feed and of course ARP bolts and some Mishimoto hose clamps they're kind of cool but for now that's what we got should be on shortly we're waiting for a few parts on back order and uh, then we'll get it on and we'll make a video Putting it on too. Alright, guys, until next time.